Today we're taking a look at the new 2.0 version of Action X. Shimoda's camera backpack designed for protecting and carrying camera gear when shooting outdoors. Think of Action X as the more adventurous, rugged sibling of the Shimoda Explorer backpack, which I also reviewed recently here on my channel. This new V2 version of Action X includes a number of refinements and updates from the original, including a new color. You may buy Action X in a more traditional monochromatic black and gray colorway if that's more your speed. And honestly, that is, you know, typically what, what I would buy. I mean, you know, just look at what I'm wearing right now. I mean, this is, you know, pretty much my standard uniform. But I have to say this new color, this new yellow that's now available in V2, has really grown on me. I didn't know what to think about this at first, but it has really won me over. And I think the key here was that Shimoda uh, did not pick a hue of yellow that was like too synthetic or cold looking. Rather, it's a very warm and positive yellow, a very organic yellow. It kind of reminds me of like a, like a sunflower. And you know, there are actually some practical reasons for choosing yellow, I think, because yellow is brighter and more noticeable than black. Like if I were wearing a, a black and gray backpack right now, I would totally blend into the environment. No one would see me at all. Whereas a bright yellow color like this will definitely uh, get attention, which could come in handy uh, just purely for like safety and security reasons. So that's a good thing. Additional changes in V2 include a redesigned front panel pocket that can now hold laptops up to 16 inches in size. The original back panel laptop sleeve is still there and does offer better padding and protection, but the front sleeve does help make laptops more easily accessible. The side handle is now a little larger and works better when used as a luggage handle pass-through. And the bottom of Action X has been updated with a new base handle that makes picking up the bag two-handed more comfortable, especially when picking up the bag and moving it when it is face down on the ground. The dual tripod water bottle pouches on the side of Action X are now removable, which helps free up more space when not in use. The pockets, however, that hold the pouches still cannot be closed when a pouch is hanging out, which leaves the pocket open to water, dirt, rain, sand, etc. The zippered foam pouch on the shoulder strap is now a little bigger in V2 to provide more affordance for bigger phones, like my iPhone 14 Pro Max, as seen here. And the included rain cover that comes with the bag now has a dedicated slot in the bottom of the bag's interior. Action X has also been updated with improved tightening and sizing for photographers with smaller waists, and the straps help provide better stabilization and support on the lower back when carrying heavier loads. Action X also comes with a clever little tool that you can use to slide the waist belt in and out more easily when adding and removing it from the Velcro enclosure at the bottom of the bag. Following a trend seen in other camera backpacks of late, Shimoda has added a hidden pocket inside the bag to hold a single AirTag or any other type of Bluetooth tracker. Finally, there is a new 40 liter size of Action X, the X40, and obviously this is a little bit bigger than the pre-existing X30 and a little bit smaller than the X50 50 liter bag, which is what I'm wearing right now. 40 liters might be a little more ideal if you're looking for a bag that's close in size to the X50, but also a little bit closer to uh, carry-on bag uh, restrictions imposed by airlines if you want to use the bag as carry-on luggage. Now, I've heard from other people that they've had no trouble at all using the X50 with various airlines around the world. The X50 is actually right on the line when it comes to the dimensions of a bag that's allowed for carry-on luggage. And from what I've heard, people have had no trouble with the X50. But if you're looking for something perhaps a little bit smaller, then the X40 might be worth checking out. So that pretty much covers everything that's new in the V2 version of Action X. Let's now cover some of the existing features and things that you will find in Action X bags. Some of the things that make Action X bags unique, both the V1 version and V2. First and most notable feature for me is the roll top compartment. I love having the option of expanding this to carry additional awkward items like jackets, hats, food containers, whatever. It's so much easier and nicer, you know, than trying to fit these larger bulky items inside the bag. 
The one kind of annoying thing about the roll top, the one thing that I don't like about it, and this is such a minor thing, it's just a little nitpicky design thing, but the clasp on the roll top, when you roll it up and cinch it up and then lock it together, there's just one clasp here that comes together in the middle. And what then happens is that this little, you know, bit here kind of, <laughs> it just kind of sticks up a little bit, like it kind of, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's wearing a hat or something. Like it's, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a weird thing. I don't know. It seems to me that it could have been like, like the design of this could have been cleaner if there were clasps at, at both ends here. And then it, you know, folded down, you know, to some hooks on the side of the bag. Now, obviously that means that there would need to be some hooks on the side here for it to hook into. Whereas this just hooks right into itself. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's just a funny little weird thing that feels to me like it could be a little more polished. Action X provides two lateral straps on its front divided by a center loop that creates two channels for mounting hiking poles, tripods, or other items. You can, however, if you want to pull the straps through the loop and create just a single channel if that works better for the type of gear you are carrying. One small annoying thing is that the top front strap does partially block the zipper on the front pocket. So to fully open this pocket, you have to unbuckle the strap or slide the zipper underneath it. Speaking of the front, Action X also comes with an extra pouch that may be attached when carrying a bike or ski helmet. Action X includes two tripod water bottle pouches, one on either side of the bag, and these pouches are now removable in version 2, as I talked about earlier. And just in general, I much prefer having dual pouches, one on either side. It just makes carrying gear much easier compared to camera backpacks that only have a single pouch. Tripods are secured to the side of Action X using two lateral straps, one of which at the bottom is a rubberized TPU strap. Now this strap is more difficult to wrangle with, uh, in my experience, especially single-handedly compared to the nylon straps at the top, but they do provide better long-term durability and strength. The front panel pocket includes a handy hook for hanging a hydration bladder, and there are openings in the interior and exterior of the bag to snake a drinking tube through to the shoulder strap. Speaking of hydration, the left shoulder strap includes an expandable pocket for smaller water bottles or other items. And by the way, if you happen to spring a leak, there are a pair of draining holes at the bottom of the bag. Inside of here is this pouch that, you know, hangs down inside of the bag. This blue pouch that's in here, if you pull it out and then look inside, all the way down here in the bottom corner, is a little key ring. Now, this is great because I am super OCD about losing my keys when I'm out in some kind of landscape, especially when I'm alone. My one complaint about this, and the one thing that I don't like, is the fact that it's all the way at the bottom, you know, all the way down at the bottom of this interior bag inside. And I get it because that means that they're totally secure. Like, you know, there's they're not gonna accidentally fall out. But getting to the keys when you have it packed full of stuff might be a little time consuming. It might be a little, a little bit of a pain. So personally, I kind of wish this key ring was like in one of these side pockets over here. Like I feel like that would be a more ideal place for it. Then they'd be more uh, accessible. But anyway, I'm just glad that something like this is here, you know, for that type of use. Around the outside of Action X, there are plenty of loops and places to be hanging additional items, including a pair of larger loops on the waist belt when you need a quick place to hang something while hiking. One feature of Action X I especially like, which is also available with the Shimoda Explore, is its adjustable harness. This allows users to move the shoulder straps higher or lower if necessary to accommodate longer or shorter torsos. Shimoda also smartly offers three alternate strap designs for female photographers to provide an even better fit at no additional cost when ordered directly through Shimoda's website. This is the 50 liter bag, and this model has four adjustable loops here on the back to be raising and lowering the shoulder straps. I assumed with me being, you know, <laughs> with me being a big guy, I mean, like I'm six foot four, I assumed that I would wear XL. So I put the straps there, wore it for a little bit, and I found that the waist belt was just sitting too low on me and the bag just didn't feel right. And so I put it at large, uh, one slot down, 
and that felt much better. So if you are a photographer who's taller and or bigger than me, and you're looking for a bag that's going to fit you well, I think the X50 50 liter bag uh, should definitely do the trick. The shoulder straps and waist belt on Action X are a little different from the softer, more ventilated straps you'll find on the Shimoda Explore. The Action X straps are a bit stiffer, a little less plush, and less breathable and moisture wicking in comparison. However, they are more durable and less susceptible to moisture, rips, and tears. On warmer days like today, it's May, it's somewhere between 75 and 80 degrees right now. The Action X is a warmer, sweatier camera bag than other camera backpacks that, that I've owned and used, including Shimoda, Shimoda's other camera backpack, the Explore. The straps in the back are not as breathable or as moisture wicking as other bags, so you are gonna feel a little bit warmer when wearing this bag. The sternum strap on the Action X V2 helps keep the shoulder straps pulled in and prevents them from pulling away from the body when you are carrying heavier gear. So it's always a good idea to clip these in when you're using the bag. Now the Shimoda sternum strap is not removable. It is permanently fixed to the uh, shoulder straps and they are both attached to a pair of rails on either side. And there's just enough friction in the design of the rail so that you're able to move the strap up and down but then once you move it into, into the position you like, it stays there. Some people might prefer straps that could be removed when not in use, but for me, I'm glad they're always on the bag because I always use them when I carry a camera backpack anyway, and I prefer having them always on the bag as opposed to being removable and then you know running the risk of losing them at some point. The waist belt on the Action X is quite comfortable. It's well padded. I also like how it has a split in the middle of the design here. You know, it's just having that opening there, I think gives it a little more flex, a little more affordance uh, when you are moving and hiking around while carrying the bag. The interior of Action X is intentionally empty. Camera bodies and lenses then are packed using core units, which are sold separately and include small, medium, and large sizes with different depths for DSLR and mirrorless camera systems. Core units are held in place by the bag's outer frame, so they don't require clips or hooks or anything like that to stay in place. And in my experience, these Shimoda dividers, they're stiff enough to provide sufficient security and protection, but they also bend and flex as needed when adding and removing camera gear without the dividers breaking apart. Medium and large core units include zippered side openings for accessing camera gear through a side panel in the bag's exterior. Conveniently, there's a pocket inside this panel door here that holds the core unit's unzip flap when opened. And because their design is modular, Core units can also be easily moved from one Shimoda backpack to another if you happen to own more than one. Personally, I would choose the DSLR core units even when carrying a mirrorless camera system for these core units can accommodate gear of any size, large or small, and smaller items can be more easily stacked. Now, as much as I like the core unit design of Shimoda bags, there is one little thing about them that gets a little annoying that you might want to know about. This large DSLR core unit that I have in here right now is taller than the opening of this uh, door right here. It actually goes up a little bit higher. And what that translates to is a little more work getting uh, gear out of the top compartments at the top of the core unit and actually having the rain cover down here on the bottom. Although that does provide more padding at the bottom of the bag, it does push the core unit up uh, even more. So this area up here gets a little bit sticky and a little problematic sometimes. And actually the same thing is true for the sides of the bag here too. The, uh, the skeleton of the bag, the, the frame, if you have any gear here on the side of the bag and you try to, and you open the door and try to pull it straight out, it's probably going to run into the frame. So you kind of have to get in the habit of kind of like pushing the frame out a little bit when you pull your gear out. Um, it's just, you know, it's just one of those little things about these core units. Now, Shimoda does sell discounted starter kit bundles that include the empty bag plus a medium core unit. And they also provide a detailed chart on their website linked in the video description below, illustrating which core units perform best with each size of bag. This is also a good time to point out that the back panels on Shimoda bags, they open to the side like a, like a book or door. Now, I'm more accustomed to back panels that fully unzip from the bottom of the bag, 
But over time, this side hinge design has grown on me because I feel that it opens faster and easier than, say, a zipper that encircles the entire backside of the bag. So overall, I think the Shimoda Action X V2 is a fantastic outdoor uh, camera bag, which I'm not really all that surprised by because I was already a fan of the Shimoda Explore backpack. And because that bag and this one share similar DNA, similar construction, similar design and, you know, material, um, you know, the Action X just feels like a more rugged, more durable, more expandable version of that bag. I think the most important question to answer if you are currently shopping for a camera bag and are considering the Action X is to question whether Action X is the right type of bag for you and the places where you typically do photography or whether Action X is more camera bag than you actually need, whether this bag would be overkill. Because again, this bag is designed for rain, snow, ice, for carrying gear on the outside of the bag. It is designed for people who, you know, carry more than just camera gear in the bag. And it's built for, you know, wearing uh, for extended periods of time and for carrying quite a bit of camera gear, you know, with these, you know, large, you know, straps on the back, which are incredibly comfortable. And it's great for me and the type of work that I do. But I could see this bag also being a little too much, especially if you're, you know, if you primarily go on day hikes, weekend trips, or or maybe looking for like a bag to use like around town, something like that. I think in that context, uh, with these straps and everything, when you wear this bag, I mean, you literally look like you just came off of Everest or something. It's it's like, you know, you might look a little silly wearing, you know, a bag like this in the city or around town or something like that, if you care about appearance, right? I think it's also important to consider the climate in which you typically shoot. You know, this bag, you know, with the uh, with these weather resistant straps and the waist belt and this uh, back panel back here, this bag would be perfect for a location like Iceland or Norway or, you know, hiking in the mountains or, you know, something like that. If, however, I were traveling to, say, Death Valley or like, you know, somewhere in the American West and it was warm, I think I would prefer the more ventilated straps of the Explorer because my back, you know, definitely got warmer in the Action X compared to the uh, Explorer bag. So, you know, as seen earlier in this video, I do have a few you know, small criticisms of the bag, a few little things that I feel like could be improved. But when you consider the totality of the user experience, when you consider the totality of all the features and everything that's gone into uh, producing this bag, I feel like it's a great bag, especially for anyone who primarily shoots outdoors, landscape, wildlife, uh, adventure photography, anything like that. This is the kind of bag that uh, that you're probably looking for. I do have one uh, little thing that I want to tack on here, though, is that if you are considering yellow, uh, which I would encourage you to do because I think yellow is really cool. One thing to know about yellow is that it's it's kind of like owning like a white car or a, or a white house or a white shirt, something like that, because this bright yellow color does show more dirt uh, than, you know, black or gray or, or a darker color, because, you know, just in the, in the limited time that I've owned and used the bag, I'm getting some, you know, some marks here on the front of the bag from when it was laying face down, uh, I, you know, on some rocks is, is most likely what scraped these scraped up the, the front. So, you know, as much as I like yellow, I do think that it'll be interesting to see how well this bag holds up over time and how, you know, how dirty and how scuffed up it gets. Uh, in the future. By the way, if I have any updates to that, I will update uh, my blog post. I always write a blog post that goes along with my product reviews, so I'll update the blog post if I have any kind of update or anything additional to share about this. So if you are interested in the Shimoda Action X V2 and you would like to uh, perhaps pick one of these up for yourself, there is a special link down below in the video description that you may use. And you'll also find down there a coupon code uh, to help save you a little more money if you are purchasing directly through Shimoda. Uh, speaking of that, uh, as I talked about earlier in the video, uh, if you are a female photographer, you may want to buy the bag through uh, directly through Shimoda uh, because again, they do offer alternate uh, shoulder straps on the back of the bag back here that may do a better job of, uh, may provide better fit 
uh, for you and there's three different options for you to choose from and that's something that you can get at no additional charge when purchasing the bag through Shimoda. Thanks to Shimoda for providing me with an Action X V2 uh, so I could produce this review video for you and if you found it to be helpful do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up down below and remember to subscribe as well if you would like to keep in touch with me in the future. That's it for today everyone. I will see you in the next one.